we started to to bop it, you know, and um, he saw me as an opportunity to have a big brother. His mother had already put the mandate out. I talked to his cousin the other day. She's like, Donda told you to stick with Kanye and protect him. Are you doing that? I'm like, to the best of my ability. That's big. You know? And, and the reason that's big is because she's speaking from a different place now. Mm -hmm. This on a whole nother level. I do know that. And so I know because I got calls like that to where it, she ain't even got to see it. Mm -hmm. It's already it's mm -hmm. already being spoken to you. No question. Constantly. No question. You live in it. You trying to figure it out Ooh. every day, and, and that's the whole game. When some because it's it's heavy. Speaking, it's speaking from a different place. It's bro. heavy, bro. And I know that it's heavy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Me. Wow, I want to go back. I want to go back to. Uh, just how you and uh, Kanye even linked up. Like, <laughs> I want the ground. I want the. I want the ground mm -hmm. story on what. How. How does a guy who's being uh, verbally and and I don't know physical, but abused by your mother. Yeah, physical, uh, broken cat, nose, I, burnt, you know what I mean. Irons, yeah, that's what I'm shit. saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Uh, ostracized. Mm -hmm. and, uh, now all of a sudden, uh, you in a studio with a guy who produce, mm -hmm. producing. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to know. Yeah, about. it's crazy. I met his mama. And she was. In, I was introduced to her through um, uh, I want to call his right name, but it's um, Oscar Brown, the third Oscar Brown Jr.'s son, and uh, Koresh Ali. Okay, Koresh Ali, his chosen name, and they had did a McDonald's commercial. Okay. And a lot of people in the spoken word and poetry and conscious community was upset about that. And I'm like, how the fuck y'all mad at this man getting a check? That's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. That's real. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all ain't paying him. Y'all ain't selling. He ain't. I don't right. see y'all buying out his tickets at his motherfucking show. That's real. I don't see y'all buying his book out. Y'all ain't buying his motherfucking album. Mm -hmm. So fuck y'all. No, fuck that's real. Talking about all you conscious motherfuckers, man, beat it with that goofy shit. I'm not with that. I'm not on that. I don't believe in that. So every time he would be somewhere, I see a flyer, I would go. If, if it, what I would hope it would cost, 10 15 $20, I'm gonna pay. Show up. So they had an event, and um, Haki Matabuti, who is somebody who's an author, and he's big time for me in the poetry world. As I got into the poetry world, his assistant introduces me to Donda West. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I talked to her, she's like, oh, I said, I told her, I said, I work with Common, and I do this, and I do that. I ain't say the stuff like, I'm a black peace stone. I said, oh, dope. I shoot people. I got 80, I got 80 some arrests on my record. That ain't what, I ain't giving her that portion. Right. You see what I'm saying to you? I gave her the portion that's going to make her, Business you know, part. lean into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She said, I got a son that do music, and I want you to get around him. His name is Kanye West. I said, yes, ma'am. Because, you know, I, I got mother hunger. You know, I'm starving for a connection. And every all of my friends, they know, if you got a mama, I'm taking over. That's my mama too. <laughs> no, that's all. Everybody know. Yeah. Raheem Devon know, Carl Thomas know, Common know, and all my friends know. You got a mama, we share her now. <laughs> that's all. That's all. You know, I'm going to be bringing Chinese food, and motherfucking call all the time. Y'all just prepare for that shit, nigga. That's, that's real. real. I want to ask you about the fact of what phase was this Kanye? Was he, uh, had he done a No, album? no, nothing. He hadn't done nothing. 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 Let's talk about it. So, you know, um, so Mama went Donda, to meet him. Yeah, Mama Donda, well, before I went to meet him, I didn't, hadn't met him yet. Mama Donda had, had a relationship with No ID's mother. And okay. No ID was a friend of mine through Common. Okay. okay. They folk on the husband, I'm a stone, and in their neighborhood, foes and stones don't get along. Well. Mm. But me and him had a relationship through my man, peace be upon him, Yusef Hassad. Okay. He a folk. We went to high school together. So that was his people on 87th Street. I went to school on 87th Street. So in my neighborhood, the foes and stones is thick as thieves. We friends. We brothers. There, it was different because they didn't really have no GD ops okay. in that neighborhood. So they op with each other. You know how that's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. human hierarchy shit. So the next time I heard about Kanye West was through my brother Don C, who I love and talk to all the time. And I'm so proud of him, what he's done in his life. The Jordan deals and Nike deals wow. and All-Star Weekend, NBA, Spalding, oh, Foot Locker. Oh, oh. Crazy. Don C outside, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no games. No games. And uh, he say, man, him and John Monopoly, who are somebody else who I love, he say, hey, can the go-getters open up for you? I was the host of a bunch of shows in Chicago. I had money, they had to pay me. 
I'm gonna always bring the best, you know, the best dudes out. Always gonna bring the baddest bitches out, you know, because they want to be around niggas that can support themselves. They got a little bit of money, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they treat them good, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, you a boss, so you understand. Definitely, they gonna always attract to that energy, and it's human nature. Definitely. Nothing yes, wrong with of that. Of course. So I say for for y'all, yeah, go get us. Okay, they some young GDs or whatever. And they say, man, and um, you know, Kanye West is part of them. I say, oh yeah, I know his name. His mama told me to be around him. I just don't have a way to be around him. So um, they say, yeah, he's, you know, he's that. He got a group and all that. And they got this song, Let My Niggas In. I, I, I think that was the name of the song, Let My Niggas In. Let my niggas in. And I had carte blanche at the radio station. Okay. I could go there anytime I want to, put anything on, sit down, have an interview, call in, talk shit, whatever I want to fuck do. That's me. And um, so I let them open up. And then I started to work on things happened the Carl Thomas album went big I started to work on the album and John 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 Monopoly who was a and in my project mm -hmm, with, mm -hmm. with Zoe Records my man Ola out of Nigeria we had a very contentious relationship because you know he wasn't the best of listeners and it's hard to tell a million that what to do yeah of you course know, you ever tried that before no it's I tried it no, you it's difficult if you're talking to one you better be talking in a way to where y'all can come to an agreement exactly so and I you got, can finesse exactly, them in the right way exactly y'all. I got money he got money so it's we wasn't here but, but, we, but we partnering we partnering on some shit but John John say man I want to um help put your project together. So we get Carl Thomas on the project, and he said, you should get a song from Kanye West. I'm like, I, this is my third time hearing Here in Kanye, yeah. Kanye West, third time's a charm. So I slide over to his crib one day, you know, and um, you know, he's starting to make a little bit of noise. John John is helping them, taking the shit to New York. He's taking meetings with labels, and he's like, but very much like he is now. Yeah. Loud, jumping on tables, cussing <laughs> motherfuckers out, all that shit. But without I the money, so. some motherfucker didn't really take him that, goddamn it, you feel me? They didn't really take him that, goddamn it, serious. On my mama, he was just a motherfucker that was loud. But I saw some talent in him, and I saw some grit in him, at, which was more important than the talent, you know? So we started to, to bop it, you know? And um, he saw me as an opportunity to have a big brother. His mother had already put the mandate out. I talked to his cousin the other day. She's like, Donda told you to stick with Kanye and protect him. Are you doing that? I'm like, to the best of my ability. That's big. You know? And, and the reason that's big is because she's speaking from a different place now. Mm -hmm. This on a whole nother level. I do know that. And so I know because I got calls like that to where it, she ain't even got to see it. Mm -hmm. It's, already, it's mm -hmm. already being spoken to you. No question. Constantly. No question. You live in it. You trying to figure it out Ooh. every day, and, and that's the whole game. When some, because it's it's heavy. Speaking, it's speaking from a different place. It's bro. heavy, bro. And I know that it's heavy. It's heavy. I feel down the spirit all the time with me. Yeah, you feel yeah. Me? And somebody who I really looked at as a mama for real. Yeah. When Kanye moved to New York, I was on Johnny on the spot. You want some Chinese food from your favorite place? What you want? Jamaican food? What you want, mama? And um, I took pride in that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.